eat all the pigs. Hello everyone and welcome to Fort Masters Blog for the Warmer for the Passing Gaming System, created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to painting guide number 36 for this vlog. Today I'm gonna be painting a mythic Blythe Hauler of the Death Guard. Today is recorded on the 21st of July 2018. And let's go to detail and check out what we have at our disposal. So this is what I would think is an easy to build mythic uh, hauler and uh, it's a part of my painting commission for that other person so uh, it's not my own which is why I will not be fixing the base because he requested that, that, that he would do it himself. Uh, personally I think it looks like an okay model uh, I, I would have preferred to paint it um, separately with the part separate but you can't have everything here in life and uh, yeah so what we're gonna do here is that um, we're gonna go for the tra traditional Death Guard colors and what we're gonna start is uh, the part here at the front, the front armor and for that we're gonna be painting Castell and Green then we're gonna be painting up uh, the skin of the flesh uh, or this, the flesh here, uh, the flesh part uh, which uh, builds up this uh, demon engine and for that we're gonna be using flayed on flesh as a base then for the metallics of the this construct we're gonna be using lead belcher then for small certain areas where it, it could be needed we're gonna be using abron black uh, then uh, for the mouth as you can see here for that we're gonna be painting in a red color and for that we're using Evesan scarlet then, uh, for the, on top of the flesh here, uh, on top of the flayed on flesh, we're going to be using blood letter, so it gets like a reddish uh, skin tone. Then we're going to be painting up the side bars here and here, and for those we're going to go for the, the more whitish color of the Death Guard. And for that we're going to be using a mixture of Seraphine Sepia and Lamian Medium. I uh, also forgot to mention that the Castellan Green is going to be painting on these upper parts here. So, in a quick conclusion, what we're going to do for the next step is Castellan Green for the front armor of the uh, uh, of the upper side and the, the left and the side weapons, flayed on flesh for the fleshy parts, blood letter on top of that, lead belcher for the metallic parts, Abaddon blacks where it's needed. It was some scarlet for the mouth, but I'm also going to be using it here on the missiles, which you see here. Then Seraphine Sepia and a mixture of Lamia Medium for the part which is going to be uh, in white. So now you know what we're going to do for the next step. See you on in the next step, everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to step 2 of this painting guide. Today is the 15th of August 2018 and let's go into detail and check out what we have been doing with the model so far. So this is sort of the middle steps, there's still some things left to do. But it still doesn't look, uh, but it doesn't look like a 9 year old has done anymore so that's a relief at least. So what we're going to start by doing is painting up these metal rods going here and here. And for that we're going to be doing using Balthazar Gold. Then for the grabbing arms here at the front, which makes it look very much like a sea creature. And also I'm thinking about applying it on the small sharp edge here at the back. There we're going to be using a chapter bone. Then for the metal, uh, uh, for some small um, pipes and rods going in through the body. For that we're going to be using motor green. Then uh, for the metallics uh, we're going to be applying Reichland Flesh Age so it gets a rusty look. And then for all over the model we're going to be applying Nun Oil. So in a quick conclusion what I'm going to do for the next step is Balthazar Gold on the um, 
rods uh, left still left unpainted. We chopped the bone for the small arms at the front. Moved green for the pipes going around the body. Reclam flesh shade all over the metallics. And then non oil all over the model. Now you know what we're gonna do for the next step, so see you all in the last step everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to step 3 of this painting guide. Today is the 28th of August 2018 and let's go into detail and check out what we have done with the model. So I think the, the beige white colors could have been better if I had done it separately lying in small pieces rather than trying to do it in an upstanding fashion because it gets a very uh, raining color which I do not like and yeah and I, I, I am questioning if I should have gone for a more white color in the middle uh, like I had in envisioned but uh, yeah this, this will work out it's not my, yeah I, I will have to be satisfied with it and then that I, I think it's turn, yeah, turned out all right um, it, it could have been better in some cases it could have been a lot worse in others but yeah, it's gonna be a very short part of the painting. I, I, I usually have an issue during the last step to say what I have to say because this is just a more or less display page and if I want to talk some more vivid details I would uh, save those for the actual episode which usually gets more views than my painting guide. Unless if you have a special painting guide like my Raven Guard which has several thousand views and is heavily downvoted because people don't like that one. Uh, but yeah, so th that's more or less everything I had for this part of the painting guide. Thank you very much for watching it. Don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos. And also leave comments on things I'm doing good so keep on doing them. And leave negative critique of things I'm doing bad for you to improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if it could be interesting, entertaining or simply inspiring. And I'm on Facebook these days. There's a link down in the description. Check it out and see if you like it. I try and update more regularly there than I do here on YouTube. Not by much, but a little to make a difference. But with that said, thank you very much for watching this painting guide. Death to the False Emperor. Bye!